Hey everyone, this is a uh, uh, Channel Couch Co-op again. This is uh, Grim and we got Shapes. Uh, yes. Today's video is uh, actually a, another side scrolling beating up game and it's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Uh, we'll be playing on the Super Nintendo. Um, but we wanted to do a little bit of an intro about Ninja Turtles and what it means to us. You know, a lot of uh, this channel is not only just video games that we love, but um, how they show significance in our in our livelihood and oddly enough ninja turtles was a, a cornerstone to our, our youth and growing up um with the 80s and 90s push of uh turtle mania uh we both fell into it pretty hard in terms of just loving the teenage Mutant ninja turtles uh with it maybe the toys that i had a, a plethora of um, oh, yeah. i the, mean you know it, it was a marketing machine back in the day i mean the the movie came out i think in 1990 uh, I think so, something like that. I believe. And it's like, you know, um, I think AV, AVGN kind of put it best in his uh, video review of it, or that, like where he said it was like, right, it, it was like the movie that almost was the, like, what, oh, what is it, um, Smells Like Teen Spirit was to the music industry, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was like the transition into like the hardcore, like early 90s, like badass, you know, like Sega Genesis tried to go after that. In the um, edger model. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you read, if you, I mean, I, you read the first few comics, right? Yes, yeah. yes, I did. And so like, you know, I don't know anybody who has not. Um, I could tell you right now, they're super friggin' dark, and, um, I mean, they had turtles actually stab with their weapons and cut off limbs. I mean, I think you'd um, be surprised, there's probably a good, probably a good percentage of people who grew up in our age bracket that have no idea about the comic books, oddly enough. Yeah. They only know the 90s cartoon and then the three movies, you know, so this is one of the, uh, original, uh, comic book, uh, arts. Oh, uh, and this is actually... Well, no, this one's actually, uh, this was redone specifically oh. by Kevin Eastman, but, correct. um... It's an Eastman art piece, but it's of the new IDW series, correct? No. No, I don't Quite know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this is the original. This is the Mirage, I think it was. Okay. Is what they eventually got picked up by. Yes. Um, so this is the original series. Uh, you know, the first few comics, I would say, you know, they're batshit crazy. They're... They're definitely not like the uh, the cartoons that we grew up with, and truly the the movie that came out that we were talking about was like a really good rendition of like the the first comic series combined with the third, I think is what it was, because I think the foot returns in the third, mm -hmm. and then in the second series they play the Utrons, yep. which are what Crane was eventually derived off of, right. even though they're peaceful in this comic series, right. they're they just want to get back to their home. Mm -hmm. Um, um, yeah, so anyway, um, you know, we, you know, it started, uh, you know, of course, Turtle started as kind of a one-shot thing by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, and, um, you know, they, they only made a thousand copies of their first issue, mm -hmm. and it sold out the first day, and so they ended up printing out some more, and, you know, of course, they were like, well, shoot, let's keep this going. Sure. And didn't really know where to take it and um you know then they went into space you know right like holy crap like turtles went into space <laughs> uh, so yeah anyway like you know dimension x is never mentioned uh crane's never in them um believe it or not shredder does die in the very first issue oh. um it's a long issue i don't I, I can't remember exactly how many pages maybe it's 32 maybe i don't know but um you know, no ads, of course, but <laughs> it's not current day DC and Marvel. <laughs> right. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, I guess I've been talking on them. Go ahead. So, uh, in terms of, like, the toys, I remember strictly as a, you know, grade schooler, like, uh, buying, like, food that was marketed for the Ninja Turtles, like these disgusting pie things that actually had a free card in it. Uh, buying those things, and then me and my brother dressing up for uh, Halloween as Ninja Turtles, and, you know, we each had a favorite... Uh, Ninja Turtles, um, you know, mine was Donnie, and I think Shapes yours is, uh, Raph. Raph, yeah. And so, you know, just kind of being a, a unique, uh, show that has an individual. It wasn't just, like, He-Man or, or whatever. There's a bunch of different characters that you could, you know, pick which one you like. Uh, yeah. with that, you know, you know, we're talking about a video game. There are, are hundreds of collectibles. I mean, 
There's multiple iterations of comics, multiple iterations of cartoons that have come through, and even collectibles. And uh, we'll show off a couple of examples that, that Shafe has in his personal collection. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, <clears throat> this one here is, well, I'll, I'll go back, I'll go, you know, forward in time. This is the original series. Uh, this is not the one, I think it's the third. Yeah. Um, Grim and I went to Comic Con in 2012. And I gotta look for the one that's all gray. Yeah. It's four or five. And you can display if you like while I'm making a mess. But yeah, I have them all. These are this is the complete series um, of all of them. There's five. This is the SDC variation or variant, excuse me. Uh, and it's just you know artist or whatever they call it. And then uh, I stood in line with Grim over here and. Uh, you know, I asked him to draw a rap for me. Yeah. He did pretty sweet, I think, Kevin Eastman. Yeah, I think that one of the greatest things about going to conventions, comic cons, and, and other conventions of that sort that we saw Kevin Eastman um, was he's always been super nice. He's always been very supportive of fans, and he's one of the great creators out there. You know, he's not a dick about things. He's not, you know, charging an arm and a leg. He's just genuinely happy to see his fans, and he's... Uh, it seems like he goes the extra mile for them all the time. He's just a great human being. I can't say it. enough great, great things about him. Totally. Yeah. No, I mean, we, we, we went and saw him at a convention of some kind. It was like it's a called, wrestling convention. It's called D-Lux, and it's a martial arts convention. Ah, yes. yeah, yeah. And they attempted to try to do the most people dressed as a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in one place, but it, it was like, I think they only got 30 people. It's like <laughs> yeah, it, it was a smaller number, yeah. Yeah, it, it didn't pan out. But anyway, we were there, and his wife was there, Courtney. Um, and uh, they were really sweet and you know that I think we talked with his wife for I don't know maybe at least a half an hour yeah maybe, maybe close to an hour but uh, yeah while they were she was kind of sitting there you know while Kevin was signing and stuff but we got to sit there and uh, talk with him and uh, while I was there I'll show you my my pride and joy since I'm kind of on the topic this is where I got it. Ugh these things so yes this is in fact oh no <laughs> so yeah so anyway that's the sketch draw that he sends to the um comics place to say okay this is what i want the cover to look like and they approve it and then after that he has to draw a full size and that's what this is and this is actually page uh I believe... no, 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 no. does it have it on it no it's page oh page 11, 11 yeah, yeah. This is page 11 up from issue 21. Um, the reason why this one is significant is this issue was completely drawn and written by Kevin Eastman. And it was the uh, kind of the before the major push off in the city fall. Right. Uh, this is actually Splinter. And he's fighting his sons, basically telling them that they're not ready. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. This is the comic, the actual comic itself, and that's obviously the cover, and I just had him sign it. But anyway, yeah. I the mean, uh, storyboard stuff's on the back, and then when I bought it, you put Tim Ack, Cool Beans, and uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's something nice because I think each of us actually have a piece like that that we have framed. Uh, mine's actually at my house, so uh, maybe one day I'll show mine off as well. Uh, but the collectibles don't even uh, stay with art uh, and books. Uh, we even have toys. Or, or, or statues, if you will. So, if you want to go oh, ahead. Oh, I would submit their action. <laughs> but, uh. Ah, ah, ah. Take it over the airways. Kidding, kidding. Thought I'd reference the game that we're about to do. But, uh, sorry guys, had some technical difficulty. Uh,. We got a new camera, if you can't tell, and audio equipment. So hopefully your videos will look a little crisper and uh, clearer for you. And uh, so anyway, uh, again, apologies if for some reason it stopped recording after so many minutes. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. So um, this is kind of the bookend here. So anyway, uh, continuing on this with the Mondo figures. Uh, here's Raf. Leo, and yes, I do have them in action poses because I'm a dork. And 
die. He has his gravity gauntlet eye, which is his detect eye. This was from his one shot in the Mariah series. He made it with a, another scientist that he met at like some science fair. I forget his name off the top of my head, but anyway. Uh, another thing I wanted to show is uh, 8-Bit. I'm, I'm a big fan of IM 8-Bit. They do a lot of cool releases. Uh, a few years ago, maybe 10. <laughs> uh, God. Anyway, 10 years ago, uh, they did a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle art show. I think it was for the 30th anniversary. Uh, yeah, 30th. So anyway, they uh, made this. This is the this is the actual art piece that was in the show. Uh, it was this one's called Big Wave off of Cowabunga. Obviously, obviously uh, kind of a homage to uh, Big Wave off of Kurosawa. And then this is the vinyl soundtrack to the game Turtles in Time. Uh, looks like the pizza pickup on the top. Back looks like the spinning pickup power up that you could get. And on the inside, art by uh, David Wise. I think he did an awesome job. And uh, that is that. So today we'll be playing this game. Yeah. And just to show you, we're big fans, obviously, like we said. So, or I am, I guess, because we're at my place. But uh, Turtles, I'll get to that one one day. That's a game I've always wanted to beat. I've never found the Technodrome. I've always died before then, like right before it. And then uh, this is the game I played, like I said earlier, Hyper Stone Heights. Oh, I've had this one since, whew, beginning of time, man, let me tell you. Anyway, uh, anyway, we'll get along with the video. We're doing something a little different this time. Uh, we're just doing the intro video with us. Uh, the gameplay will be commentary only. It seems like you guys like to have the gameplay full screen and you guys really like seeing the gameplay, so we're going to keep that going. Playing this on actual cartridge, but I am doing it on the uh, Analog Super NT because um, just for HD purposes. Uh, one day, I'll, once I can afford it, I'll get uh, RGB. I'm kind of anal about that kind of stuff. But um, anyway, enjoy, guys. Recorded again over here. Cut the gun. Okay. There it is. Now we're on boy boys and girls. Let's watch the classic Konami intro. Oh yes. There's a code on there. I wonder if it's on the screen. Oh, the Konami code? Yeah. I wonder. It probably just makes a sound. But yeah, so here it is, boys. Going hard here. Oh god. Um, jump attack. Manual? Yeah. Back attack on some stereo animation. No, we're gonna cut it, baby. Alright, you get a big sign. Oh, it's probably had to turn back on. I always laugh because it's like they're smiling and their eyes are cross eyed, and like, I, I just don't understand it. Big Apple! 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Oh, this is over the Just remember, double dash, or double tap, dash. And then, uh, that's really good. And, I, and we can't hit each other, which is beautiful. Oh, 
Get your come out, bitch. For the record, I have beaten this on hard one time, but it was a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know, I met, like, ironically, I've never played this game with these people, so. I did not own it as a child.
This is the one game you definitely <laughs> Yeah, you gotta stay in the middle of it. So,
simultaneous crushes. Yeah. 
Which is a new cartoon before whatever is running currently. Slash was actually the last one that Oh, I 
Oh, we are 
Worry my shirt, wounded knee. I think you hear that that future futuristic thing takes place in 2015. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Right. None of that is true, except. We'll see. I mean, but yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh, that's a poem. So, yeah, we can do
Neon Knight Rider. By 2020, that's what it was. Oh, this, year, this, this year, man. We, we unintentionally anniversary this. God. We want to see how wrong they were. So we don't have other boards? Yeah. So we don't have... I always laugh when you think about it. Oh, no, 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 I think it came out Yeah, 
Oddly enough, the story is one of the kids we went to high school with. The, his mom actually went to high school with an actor in the Super Show. Okay, yeah, he passed it. Uh, but yeah, he was kind of a little I tell you what, there's a different factor when you're set up on the plane. You kind of whip it in a different manner. Yeah, there it is. Ha! Ah, so fast with it. Look how quick he is! Oh shit, dude. <laughs> So this is a game I played a lot as a kid, and I mean, as you could probably see some of the trends I remember. Ah! The funny thing is that the, the, the battle and the fighting portion is an okay, it's a little Yeah, maybe it is simple. I, I would say that it's one of the best beat ones, this is probably the best one of the I mean, I, I, like, I, I mean, the one three times. Like, you know, like, it, like, I think it was made, but it's like two or three or four or something like that. But uh, that's one I definitely want to play this time because I know it was more three and stuff like that. But I was also hard to do it for a because I remember playing with my cousin and we just stood in line and just get this crap. We were, I think, Oh yeah, for you yes. <laughs> You said it good. Now we get to see the hard mode finish screen. 
Oh wait, no, not yet. I thought that would be better. Or cast I always like these all the cool features in the game. Yeah, this was the second one. I didn't do any of those specials. I didn't. But, uh, uh, there, there's, uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, the American version. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. But if you beat, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, what they do is they go through each stage. Uh, I'm sure you like the anime stage. Well, so. oh, no, there's just a thing that Super Mario Bros. 2 is different than that. Some of the enemies we never saw as kids are just like, what is that? Where's that from? Well, it was kind of nice to see the play, you know, stuff that was available. So it's like, you would get, like, uh, like, you know, like, oh, what's your last game? I just, that one was really easy. I just like, I don't know, I don't remember every game. Gamers currently just react to the future, but even game ethics is just not going to be able to be Gamers have so much work that we used to make for games. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, back to the game, man. Like, dial up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I don't know if you should have the game or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,